it going guys? My name is James Proctor and I'm going to show you what I got in my bag. Um, to start off, I got the Upper Park Shift bag. It's a great bag, real lightweight, fits plenty of discs and uh, I got nothing to, but good things to say about this company. Um, I'll start off, I got a SoFly Mini slash knee pad. It serves as both purposes. It's really nice. For my putters, I putt with the Judge. I have two fairly new judges that I use for most of my putting. And then I have a lighter, more beaten judge for the longer putts. It stays real straight and stays in the air. Nice putt. Next, I got some mid-ranges over here. I got a Justice for the super overstable hyzer shots. Um, it's just really reliable. You know it's gonna finish left. And great for sidearm up shots. It's a really versatile disc. Next, we got a Compass, the OptoLine Compass. Real straight. Um, I use it for a lot of up shots. I can manipulate it to turn over. It's got a really straight glide with a little bit of a hyzer finish. I like it a lot. Next I have a Claymore and it's a great hyzer flip mid-range. Really soft turnover. I can throw it as hard as I can and it still won't roll over. It'll, it'll finish nice and flat. Um, it's great for the woods. I really like this disc. Lastly we have a Fusion Verdict. This is a great complement to the Claymore and the Compass. It flies a lot like a compass, but it's got a nice trusty hyzer finish. It's definitely more overstable. If there's any wind, I can trust this disc. I can throw it real hard, it'll go straight, and then I can count on it to hyzer at the end. Next we got some fairways, I'll start it off with the Spark, the moon, Frost Moonshine Spark. Really really overstable, super flat and very flexible so when it hits the ground it kind of just bounces and sits there, it doesn't really have a strong roll away or, or finish and uh, it's just extremely overstable, I know it's going to go left, it's kind of like, it flies like the Justice but for, for fairways. Next I have a Lucid Felon. Great fairway, I trust it with anything. I love throwing sidearms with it, backhands, hyzers, flex turnover shots that come out. Um, it's just a fantastic disc all around. I love this disc a lot. Next, we have a Spark. Um, I'm just getting to know this disc. It's a good complement to the Felon. It almost flies like a beat up Felon. It goes a little bit straighter for a little bit longer. Um, and it still has that trusty hyzer finish at the end. And it's also, it's also a good disc for flicking too. Next we have a Culverin. I really like the Culverin. It's a, it's a really fast fairway. You could throw it as far as most of my distance drivers. And it really likes to go straight. I can do a lot of different things with it. It's just got a lot of glide. Good for flicks again. I could turn it over, it's gonna come back. I could throw it on long, soft hyzers. So uh, it's a really, really great disc, the Culverin. Lastly, I have a Saint Pro moonshine plastic and this is my turnover fairway I could throw a lot of nice hyzer flips to turn over or if I throw it a little softer it'll just go real straight depending on how hard I throw it um, but it's it's a great fairway to have
my distance drivers, I carry three enforcers. This guy right here with the Eric McCabe stamp is super overstable. Um, flick hyzers, backhand hyzers, it really doesn't turn over. It's just made to go left. Next we got two fusion enforcers. The yellow one's just slightly more beat up, so it goes a little straighter for a little bit longer. And I throw flicks with it, backhands, pretty much everything. And this white guy is brand new, so it's just a little bit more wind, a little sharper of a hyzer finish, um, but it's pretty similar to the other one. Lastly, I have a judge and a harp for my throwing putters. I like the beat up harp. You can do a little bit more with it. It holds a straighter line, but I still trust it. And the judge is just for a turnover putter approach shot. Over here, we got two new discs from Latitude, the Caltrop and the Anchor. I'm just testing them out. The Caltrop is similar to a harp. I think it's a little bit more overstable. Um, threw it for the first time today and it flew pretty good. It's got this little thumb track bead on the top. And uh, yeah, it's very, very overstable. And the anchor is um, pretty similar to the Justice. It's a, it's a very overstable mid. You can trust it to go left. It feels good in the hand. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's similar to the Justice. It's a good mid. And that is what's in my bag. Alright guys, we're going to go a little deeper into this bag, the Upper Park uh, Focus bag. And uh, it's it fits like a backpack, it's got the waist straps right here. All this padding in the back, fits real comfortable on the back. Super light to wear. And you got your zipper pockets right here in the waist straps. I put my phone, my keys, my wallet in there, snacks, whatever you please. And we got the, the three main pockets right here. And the one thing I like about this bag, a lot of people don't realize is all the storage you have down in the bottom. You can fit sweatshirts down there, snacks, towels, more discs. You can really fit a lot in this bag. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It's small and it's really light, so that's why I prefer it, just because I don't get tired wearing it. But uh, you can really fit a lot in here. It's got a huge water bottle pocket in the front. You can fit the biggest water bottle you want in there. Um, and yeah, you got your side mesh pockets right here, really flexible. You could stack three, four discs in each pocket. If you want to, you could fit. I fit like 20, 25 discs in here real comfortably. Uh, your little pencil pockets up here. And uh, and yeah, there's your bag. The upper part, it's great bags. Out of Chico, California, check them out. So James, a lot of people want to know, uh, are you going to be touring this year? Uh, or what are you going to be doing? Uh, well, I go to school January through May, so I'll be pretty busy in those two months. Um, I'm going to be heading to Memorial in the beginning of March and then GBO in April, so I'll hit those two. And then once I'm out of school, you got Masters Cup, St. Jude, Beaver State, Worlds. Um, so I try to hit some of the big ones. I don't go on a full tour. I come back home and work during the summer. Um, so I mean, I try to do my own little tour. I try to hit all the big important ones. Uh, but no, I won't be going on a full tour. Uh, are you going to be heading to the USDGC? Of course, every year. I love that tournament. It's my favorite tournament of the year. It's just something about that one course. It's prestigious. Um, it is during the semester, but I always take that week off of school to head down there. And are there going to be anybody from uh, your local area, the Santa Rosa, uh, San Francisco, that area, going to be heading with you to the USDGC? 
I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's a long ways away. Um, I'll talk to maybe Lewis Bittany. I don't know what his plans are yet. He's a, he's a local pro I like to travel with. So I went with him to Worlds last year in Emporia. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's a long way away. What are you studying in school? Uh, I'm studying education. I want to be a high school math teacher. I'll have a major in math and a minor in Spanish after my uh, semester in Madrid. So it's, I think I'd be a good math teacher and then I'd also get summers off to tour and play tournaments and have the weekends off. So it just gives me a little more freedom with disc golf. Uh, who got you into disc golf and uh, when did you start? I started when I was about five or six. My dad got me into disc golf. There was a course on the Sonoma State campus before they had to take it out to put a bunch of dorms in. So I played for a little while when I was younger um, and then took a couple years off when they took the course out. And then when I was about 13 in 2008, I played my first tournament. I played a doubles tournament with my dad out at Stafford Lake. And I played about one tournament a year, one tournament a year until 2010 is when I really started playing more. I turned pro in 2011. And ever since then, I've been, it's taken off. Um, first off, I got to thank Latitude 64. They've done a lot for me, and without their support, I don't know where I'd be today. So, thank you, Latitude 64. Thank you, Upper Park Designs, for the bags. They make the best bags in the market, in my opinion. Um, shout out to Fly Life, Nico LaCastro. He's doing great work. Um, and yeah, thank you. And thank you to Dude Clothing down from Australia. They're making great products, great, great disc golf apparel and underrated disc golf out of Santa Rosa, California. A little disc golf shop selling a bunch of discs. It's a great story, you should go check it out. And lastly, Peter Beckwith Disc Golf slash NorCal Disc Golf, the YouTube channel, P putting up a bunch of great videos, so be sure to check them out too. Thank you.